Hi there, welcome or welcome back to Rostina's Cove. I'm Christina and right now you are watching me put dishes away. I start every morning by letting the dogs out and then putting the dishes away. Those two things kind of, I don't know, they're like my dominoes. So I let the dogs out and then while they're doing their business, I'm normally just putting the dishes away, making my coffee and it kind of helps wake me up, you know? So today I am doing a little bit of deep cleaning. Normally every month I will take everything off the shelves and I'll wipe the shelves down. I do that maybe two times a month and then every other week, so probably also two times a month, I will scrub the shower walls just with some regular plain old Dawn. And then as part of like a maybe spring and fall cleaning kind of thing, I'll take everything out of the medicine cabinet, everything out of the bottom of the vanity, everything in the drawers, and just kind of deep clean them that way. Those aren't really a priority compared to like the shelves and the shower wall, but that's what we're going to do today. I did kind of disappear last week and for that I'm sorry but I have decided that I don't really want a set schedule when it comes to posting videos. I really am feeling like I'm falling away from my family a little bit but I really have so much fun making these videos so I'm going to continue making the videos but I'm just going to do them at my own pace and then maybe if things in my life slow down a little bit I'll be able to kind of pick up on a more regular schedule again. Um, I am training a few dogs right now so that definitely takes up you know, three extra hours of my week that I had free, and I don't want to become a workaholic, um, as bad as that might sound. I just, I don't want to be that person. gosh this is so nasty I did not realize that that was in there but I just sprayed some of the method anti-back in there and I let it sit the entire time I did a few other things and then I rinsed it out and then I kind of scrubbed it out of there best I could um it's just one of those things you don't think about you know you're putting your toothbrush in there and your toothbrush is still wet and it just it makes sense that it happened and lets me know i need to be checking that out a little bit more frequently time to get one drawer done um but this is definitely something i need to do more of too <laughs>
this part in <laughs> her daddy put her shoes on the wrong feet it was so cute though <laughs> walked in while I was moving that little toy box and he was like why didn't you ask me for help and I very quickly took it and put it down somewhere so that he couldn't help me because I'm just an independent woman well, you're coming back you know that you know that you're the traveling kind it's a known fact yeah I know that down my front door it's like I just don't think about that being something that I should do um, it was actually pretty nasty looking but when we remodel the living room which is coming very soon we're going to repaint the front door that way we don't actually have to buy a new one um, and we might change the locks on our doors too um, we'll see what happens there but I cannot wait to remodel this living room. We're going to get rid of the carpet so I won't have to shampoo it anymore. Won't have to worry about the stains and we will hopefully be able to fix this leak right here. Um, there is water leaking in under the door and that's why that stain keeps coming from. Um, I don't know. I'm just really excited to make this house look nicer. And this is our empty canister. Wait until you see how much hair I get up. I'm going
going to empty the canister and we're going to slow vacuum and this is real speed here and this is what I did throughout the entire living room the second time around. This carpet is only two years old, but it just stains so easily. And look how much more dirt I got up after slow vacuuming. That's so crazy to me. But this carpet um, doesn't appear to be cheap, and it still looks fairly new. It still leaves the vacuum lines and everything, but it just stains so easy. And that might just be because of the color. I'm going to take the Mrs. Meyer's um, clean day baking soda cream cleanser this one's almost empty but I got a full bottle and this little scrubby brush and I'm going to take some vinegar and I'm going to put on these stains um, we're replacing this carpet soon with just like um, a laminate floor almost so I'm not really worried if I mess it up but I'm trying to find ways to get stains out because there's always stains in this carpet so we're going to do that, and that antibacterial spray has my nose running. I don't know what it is, but it's just got me so sick. But we have a pretty spacious living room. If this were all we really had to put in here, like obviously the coffee table on the floor. Um, but then we get all these toys in here. So anyway... Can you see me shaking? Hear the sound of my heart breaking. Bless the soul that's aching. Hoping I survive. The feeling lingers on every day of every month. Wishing I just could forget about you. The weight upon my bones makes it harder to move on. Oh, baby. I did try my very best throughout the entire living room to go both directions um, so you know horizontal and vertical or left to right up and down um, just to try to get every possible angle I could to get this carpet spick and span <laughs> Wow you got cheese oh. 
put that that way. Yeah. All right. Then I'll just take a bite. Eat it. I'll put it down for the. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Some of the stains still kind of look like they're there, but in person they don't. So I don't know. They probably are still there. <laughs> um, I didn't actually get a clip of the living room completely finished, but since we took that rocking chair out, it is so much better. We're actually able to put my daughter's toys throughout the living room and she can actually play with them instead of them all being crammed into one corner. We are thinking after the remodel, maybe turning her bedroom into a playroom. And that's just an idea. Um, some of you might be like, um, what are you talking about? She has her toddler bed in our bedroom in case you're new here and you haven't seen that before. Um, her bedroom is kind of like um, a closet and an office. Uh, it's it's kind of a mess. We just have this two bedroom home, but one day hopefully we'll get a bigger house and everything will just fall into place. Might be easier just to let it go. Cut the cable short and the problem solved. Might be easier. Anyway, like I said, I didn't get a complete view of the finished living room, but we are wrapping up here. I thank you all so much for coming by, and I'll see you in my next video.